episode, what I want to talk about is a foundational economic concept, maybe financial concept, depending on your preference. So the notion is this. Remember, we've, we've taken the idea in the city and we've separated the virtual and the physical into, uh, and decoupled them into two different objects. Now, what I'd like you to do is uh, imagine a landscape and then give it hills and valleys. And then imagine rain that falls evenly on the landscape. Now, we're going to call that that rain value. And what we'll notice is that, like rain falling on a, on a valley, the, the water will tend to slide down from the hills and gather in the valleys, turn into rivers, and then eventually pour into a, a pond or a lake if the landscape is appropriately shaped. <clears throat> As it turns out, the same sort of thing happens with value. And so, in the context of the physical, in the context of the the physical side of the civium, the thing we call real estate um, land might be thought of as being a, a low point in the attractor space of value distribution. And what this means is that if you were to measure the distribution of value in an economy, um, the owners of real estate will actually tend to accrue a disproportionate share, more than their fair share, to the point. Um, particularly vis-a-vis -vis the amount of value they actually generate into the economy. So the value that's produced in the economy um, will have more return to real estate than it will to other locations higher up on the stack of the economy. The same thing is true, by the way, in the virtual domain, although it's a little bit more abstract. So if you imagine, um, like in the old PC ecosystem, for those of you who are old enough to remember that, uh, you had all these applications like Word and Excel and I guess web browsers and these were the value these are the things that people wanted games but the value actually inured mostly to the operating system and that's the equivalent of real estate um, in the early internet it ended up ultimately being search so Yahoo and then Google and then in uh, web 2.0 um, it ended up being the sort of the social media platform uh, Twitter YouTube uh, Facebook and what you might say is that in the virtual space, it is the, the most basic uh, sine qua non, or cannot do without, um, aspect of what makes Metcalfe's law work, what makes the network effect a network effect. Um, so the lower you can go in the stack to get to the point where um, an individual joining creates a network effect, um, and, then, and then have applications set on top of that, that thing, that platform is the place that is the virtual equivalent of real estate value will tend to disproportionately collect in that location. And then if you can own that, if you can have a uh, property ownership of it, you will actually end up extracting value from the larger economy. It will flow to you disproportionate to the amount of value that you're putting in. So we can say, for example, um, that as a sort of a basic rule, um, a principle of design, that there should be a symmetry rule in terms of value, meaning if I produce X in value, I should have X in value returned to me, neither more nor less. Um, and so for therefore, for example, I'm well um, oriented in, in where and how effective my choices are. Right? If, I, if I produce X and I get less than X, then I'm actually going to be doing less of what is actually valuable because I'm not feeling the value myself and vice versa, right? If I, if I, if I do X and I get more than X, um, then I'll actually be wasting my time and everybody else's time by doing something that's actually not as valuable as I perceive it to be. So there's a good basic principle. Now, what we notice is that because of the topology of these value landscapes, sorry, topography of these value landscapes, uh, owning land has a characteristic of much more than X. Right? I put a certain amount of value into the economy, but I get actually substantially more than that back. So this will disproportionately cause people to seek um, owning land. Um, same thing with owning platforms. It creates uh, the wrong kinds of feedback loops. So in the context of Civium, what we will have is a, a, a rule, uh, very basic at the foundational level, that these two objects, and if others like this are discovered, um, must be held as a commons, so that it cannot be held or owned by any particular actor. The, the value that collects in these value attractors has to be looped back out and distributed pro rata uh, to each value creator. Uh, that actually creates a symmetry um, and therefore orients the choice making of the larger community more effectively. So what that means practically is that if you're a citizen, if you're a, a full member of the Civium, you will have a pro rata share in all of the land and a pro rata share 
of the foundational technical platform, Z. Um, and that will more or less return to you on a continuing basis. The value that accrues to those locations will then be redistributed to everybody who's a symmetric member. Um, spoiler alert, this will look a lot like UBI um, as you go forward.